Lamborghini's legendary naturally aspirated V10 engine is gone. While you may weep for it, rest assured that internal combustion is still very much a part of the Santa Gata brand's plans with a dose of forced induction and electrification, of course. A recent spy video of the Hurac N successor's prototype reveals just how wild this new hybrid era will be for Italy's supercar builder. It needs to be, as the Hurac N has big driving loafers to fill in the company's lineup. Lamborghini CEO Stefan Winkelmann announced earlier this year the Hurac N replacement will indeed be a plug-in hybrid. He set the reveal date for the end of 2024. A twin-turbo V8 will constitute the gasoline-powered portion of the drivetrain, similar to the 4.0-liter unit in the Urus. The result will be a screamer, with the stratospheric 10000 RPM redline, its electric motor or motors. The exact number and placement isn't public yet will assist the engine at normal RPM with the turbos waiting in the wings to jump in at 7,000 revolutions per minute for maximum top-end power. The Hurac N successor will use at least one axial flux electric motor which will be fitted to the new transaxle shared with the Revuelta. Electric power is more likely given that's the layout of the Revuelto, regardless of whether it uses one or two of those axial flow motors. It definitely sounds like it has an all-electric mode. It also appears to have some of the same design features as the Revuelto, like the six-sided exhaust port between the tail light panels, but as a single, large port rather than a pair. A sunken engine cover or deck lid, a deep rear diffuser, and minimized lighting. The prototype does have some of its own unique touches, like a pair of hexagonal accents or running lights hiding under some of the camouflage on the front, just under its reel. Headlights the fake headlight and taillight decals are a cute touch, Lamborghini, but we're sure you're not really fooling anyone with them. We expect the Hurac N replacement to use a variation of the Revuelto's new monocoque chassis, but made from aluminum instead of carbon fiber to keep manufacturing costs down. As with the Revuelto, a small lithium don't battery will ride between the seats under the center console, likely storing the same 3.8 kWh of energy for a short fully electric driving range. To meet the letter of certain global emissions laws, if a prototype is out testing during the daylight hours around German roads, it's probably safe to assume that its official debut won't be too far along. We expect an on-sale date of early 2025 and a starting price around to 50000. Don't forget to subscribe like this video.